Hi Ben from Hobby King. Uh, I've got an exciting product to show you today. It's the HK8 AC charger. Uh, this has just arrived, just landed on my desk, so I'm pretty excited about it. I want to take it out of the box and show you. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is this massive display on it. Uh, it's backlit, uh, LCD, very sharp, very easy to see. Uh, this particular charger also features a GUI interface, uh, so a graphical user interface. So you've got icons. Uh, easy to see, easy to use. I'm going to run you through a few of the uh, basic functions and uh, I won't bore you with too much, it's just a charger, but I'm going to show you what makes this charger interesting and what makes it stand out from the others. Uh, basic features, it's 10 amp, it's 8S, uh, LiPo, uh, LiFe and lithium ion. Uh, also does your nickel metal hydrides, uh, your NICADs and your PB batteries uh, as you'd expect. So this charger has got uh, pretty much everything in your arsenal covered. Um, now let's run through some uh, some of the more interesting features. We'll go into the charge mode here now. This has got uh, nine preset charge rates uh, so you can pre-program your favorite uh, charge rates for batteries you're, you're charging often uh, and you don't have to go through and set it up every time. Um, flick over here and we'll just go down. I mean it's, it's pretty standard. It's, it's things you'd expect uh, but We'll go through a few of the interesting features. Now there's an optional um, temperature probe for this so you can uh, you can set a cutoff temperature to, uh, to keep your pack safe. Um, you've also got a timer, a safety timer, uh, and you've also got a capacity cutoff. Now that's a really handy feature. Uh, if you want to put your batteries into storage mode, you're not going to use them for a while. Uh, also, uh, a lot of people like to charge uh, transmitter lipos to a certain voltage uh, just to keep their, their transmitters happy. Okay now we'll go through the uh, data view. This is uh, all the information you could ever want uh, while you're charging a battery so uh, we'll just enter that there. Uh, now you've got all your typical information. You've got your input voltage if you're running on DC power. Uh, right now I'm plugged into AC power. Uh, one thing to note with this uh, charger, the voltage range is 180 volt to 240 volts. So keep that in mind um, for your particular location. Now uh, we'll just go through these very quickly. Um, you've got your temperature, you've got your charge time, uh, your capacity, milliamp, uh, all the information that you'd expect to see. Now the graph mode, this is really cool. Uh, you may have seen a charger we released not too long ago which had a, a, a graph. Uh, this plots the, the charge process, uh, gives you a lot of really good information and uh, at the end of the charge you've got a graph, you can see what happened, you can see the, how uh, good or bad your pack is and uh, you know really uh, get to the bottom of it and uh, get some good information about your battery. Now the cycle mode, uh, this just shows you basically if, if you want to put a battery on cycle it'll give you a, a quick report uh, telling you the uh, the peak uh, of, of your discharge and the peak of your charge um, and cell rating again similar sort of information that you'd expect on, on most charges just shows you your uh, individual cell voltages during your charge okay this is your battery status mode uh, it's probably similar to uh, the mode that a lot of you will use just by clicking uh, one of the arrow buttons on your charger uh, enter that now. Uh, this gives you your current temperature if you have the optional temperature probe uh, plugged in and also displays the cell voltage for each cell in your pack all on one screen so no need to cycle through you've got all the information in front of you at once. Uh, another advantage of the great big screen. Okay this is your uh, user setup screen so in here you can just find all the basic functions. Uh, you can ch change the uh, the way this charger works to suit yourself. Uh, you've got input mode, key beeps, uh, a whole array of different things. Your LCD contrast, your backlight. Uh, as I said, really customise this uh, charger and get it set up the way that you like to use it. So uh, you've seen the uh, more interesting functions on the charger. Uh, the charger also includes a pretty standard set of uh, charging adapters, receiver pack JST, uh, glow plug igniter, uh, alligator clips. You also get a set of alligator clips for a, a car battery, so if you want to use this charger down at the field uh, on AC, uh, DC power you can. Uh, detailed instruction manuals included, uh, well thought out manual, very clear, very precise, all the information you're going to need. 
Uh, yeah, a few things on the charger. Uh, you've got built-in balance uh, ports here, which is something I really like. A personal peeve of mine is, is uh, external balance boards. I always seem to lose them. So you've got your, your ports built in there. Um, you can't lose them. Less kit to carry to the field. Less uh, cables and things dangling around. Uh, over this side, you've got your uh, inputs there for the optional temperature sensor. Uh, and that's really it. It's, it's not very heavy at all. Uh, it's AC-DC. 10 amp, 8S, uh, all the cycles you could ever need. And it's going to be available from Hobby King very soon, so keep an eye out for it. Thanks for watching.